Hey what is up guys, Chris Designs here and I've got a brand new tutorial for you today uh, it is creating this really cool um, kind of punch through wall effect with a metal mesh behind it uh, it's really cool to use on backgrounds and let's get started so we're going to create a new uh, canvas 1280 by 720 and I'm going to take a nice dark grey and fill in the back uh, now we need to create a new layer. Come to your brush, and for this you'll need some splatter brushes. Um, I'll put a link to some of these in the description, um, so you can go and download these, or you can use your own, be a bit more original. It's up to you. And then I'm just going to see which one I used. Uh, which one is that? Um, this one. I'm going to use uh, this one. So hopefully you can see what that looks like on the screen. So you'll be able to use the same one if you want the same effect. And then we're going to make it black so we can see it slightly better. And then I'm just going to click in the middle and make that splatter. So once you've created it, uh, we want to neaten it up a bit because we don't want it all the way out here. We don't want these really small specks to be affected. So I'm going to come to the eraser and put it on hard, um, hardness 100% and give it some reasonable size and um, then just erase these edge bits here right on the outer edge and also further in a bit. Just neaten it up. I'm going to get rid of all of these and that. And that's looking alright. And then I'm also going to get rid of uh, part of this big streak down here. We don't want something quite that big. So I'm just going to erase that with a softer eraser. Make that a bit smaller. There we go. So I'm happy with that splat. Um, and the next step is to cut it out of the back background. So we're going to unlock the background. And then on the splat, um, splat layer, hold control, click the thumbnail, and that will select it. And then click on the background, and then hit delete. And then do control D to deselect. And now you can delete that um, splatter brush layer. And you'll see we've got this splat. Um, if there's still specs out here that you don't want, uh, you can simply grab the same color background, grab the brush, and um, and then just fill these back in like this. I'm just going to fill some of these in with these rough edges. And there we go. So that's neatened it up even more. Uh, the next step is to create the um, to create a backing, another backing. So we're going to create a new layer and drag it beneath. And I'm going to get a lighter grey so you can see the difference. And drop that behind it. And now we need to apply the bevel and the drop shadow to the actual splatter. So I'm just going to grab the settings from this one. Um, drop shadow, you want uh, distance 1, spread 19, size 8. And for bevel and emboss, you want um, technique chisel soft, style in a bevel, uh, depth 93, size 1, and the highlight mode white opacity on 55%. So I'm going to copy that and then paste it onto my spatter layer. And you'll see that's giving it some depth now. Uh, we've got these white, these white uh, edges and the drop shadow all adds to the uh, 3D effect. And then we need to uh, create the mesh behind it. So for that, you want to click on your backing grey layer, go layer, new fill layer, pattern, click OK. And for this, you'll need some metal mesh patterns. Um, I'll also link them in the description. Um, I think this one works the best. This one also looks quite cool, but I prefer... Um, and that one looks good as well. But my personal favourite is this one. So I'm going to click OK on that. And now we've got our mesh, but... Uh, it still doesn't have uh, quite as much depth as we'd, as we'd like. We want more shadow. So we're going to create another layer over this. Come to the brush. 
make sure it's on a nice soft brush and um, size on 140 and then make it black and I'm just going to paint around the edges like this go around there and then just lower that um, lower the opacity of that then I might make another one and just go right around the very edge for this one like that lower the opacity of that and then um, also I don't like how bright the mesh is so I'm just gonna click on the mesh layer go image adjustments oh uh, first you need to rasterize it so right click on the pattern layer go rasterize layer and now you can go image adjustments brightness and contrast and I'm going to drag the brightness down a bit just to give it a more grungy a more grungy feel and that's pretty good and there we have it um, we've got this kind of indent splatter as if something's punched through the wall uh, so it's a really cool effect as I said uh, use it on backgrounds uh, YouTube backgrounds desktop backgrounds or anything else you can find just get creative and um, have fun with it so I hope this video was helpful um, I've got lots more videos planned coming up very soon um, including a brand new series that I'm really excited about so this is Cruise Designs thank you for watching the video and um, I'll see you soon bye